a huge, huge week for Arizona football. First, last night, uh, Leviticus Sua was visited by the U of A coaching staff, four-star linebacker out of modern day. Everybody knows that, you know, Arizona needs help at the linebacker spot. Getting Leviticus Sua in here would be amazing, especially being able to put him right next to Jacob Manu. Certainly a, a, a situation where Arizona feels good about where they are, but there's more work to continue to do. Now, speaking of the linebacker spot, because you're going to have uh, Justin and Jonathan Flo coming in now. Justin Flo was arguably the best player in his entire class coming out of high school. He would be a total difference maker for Arizona. Granted, he dealt with some injuries and some other issues at Oregon, but sometimes guys just need a little bit of a fresh start. If he came to Arizona, you could pencil him in at one of those linebacker spots right there, most likely next to Jacob Manu. You also in his you also in his brother Jonathan get a player with high upside. Not probably quite the talent that you have with a uh, uh, with a um, excuse me with the Justin Flow, but a still a pretty talented guy nonetheless. And then Arizona basketball, big stuff coming up this weekend. You could make the case that this is the biggest recruiting weekend of the Tommy Lloyd era. You've got Carter Bryant and Jamari Phillips coming in. Carter Bryant, especially, is the name that you want to keep an eye on. Six foot eight wing out of California. We've talked about him a ton. He is the uh, first, second, and third uh, priority in this 2024 class. A little bit of a Jason Tatum type game. Projects as an NBA guy, a one or a two year player at the college level. Would be a great fit in this 2024 class for Tommy Lloyd. And they will both be at this Tennessee game. A good game to be at. So again, a lot of stuff going on in the recruiting front right there. This has been Wildcat Wrap Up.